Flappy Bird is the game everyone was playing in early 2014. It became so popular that at one point it was estimated to be earning $50,000 a day for its creator, Dong Nguyen. But all the negative attention he received from the game caused him to remove it from the app store so he could go back to living a simple life. My name is Marvin, I'm a software engineer, and in this video I'll show you how I recreated Flappy Bird as my first game dev project. I'll be using this website as a reference instead of a design document. I started on the minimum viable product by adding a square into the scene. I added a rigid body to allow the square to be affected by physics and a box collider for collisions. I added a script to the square to apply an upwards force to the cube when you press the spacebar. Then I added in the pipe. I added a script to move the pipe to the left, then I added another pipe to the top of the screen. I saved the pipes in a prefab and created a script to spawn the pipes when the game starts. Then I set the pipes to be spawned repeatedly and to be deleted once outside the view of the camera. I started working on getting the pipes to stop when the player collides with them. Now I need to start tracking the score. The pipes need to be given a random offset on the Y axis. Then I started to work on the start menu and took a break. I came back and forgot to start recording again. So in that hour I added the title screen with the start button. I changed some of the colours and added an end screen with a button that brings you back to the start screen. Then I added a pixel font to the UI. Now that most of the core functionality has been added, I started working on the sprites in GIMP. I worked on the player sprite first and imported it into Unity. It was tiny. Scaling the sprite in Unity caused it to go blurry. So I went back into GIMP and scaled the image up, then re-imported it. It's a little big, but it can be scaled down without losing quality. Then I started working on the pipe sprite. I added it in the game, but I needed to adjust the size. Once I adjusted the size, it was starting to look good, but I still needed to add in the ground. So I went back into GIMP and created the ground tile. I scaled this so it would go across the whole screen. Then I added a script to move the ground across the screen to give the illusion that the player is moving. I increased the size of the ground tile and reset its position before it goes off the camera to give the illusion of infinite scrolling. Then I moved the ground sprite in front of the pipes and readjusted the sprite sizes. Some pipes were spawning too low, so I went into the scene view while the game was paused to find what the minimum coordinate for the pipe should be. Now the pipes are all above the ground, but the ground keeps moving when the game ends, so I had to fix that. I decided to start adding some sound effects, so I downloaded the Flappy Bird sound effects and brought them into Audacity, where I split each sound effect into its own file. I added an audio source to the player that plays when you press space, but I noticed a delay before the sound played. So I went back into Audacity and trimmed the silence out of the clips. Then I re-imported the clips into Unity. I went back into GIMP and made the background tile. I brought it into Unity and stretched it to fill the camera frame. Then I created the start and OK buttons and added them to the UI. After that, I created all the stages of the bird animation and added the animation to the player. Then I made the title and game over sprites. This is the final result. There are a few details missing that I didn't add, but this was as far as I wanted to take this project. If you want to know the steps to take to make your first game, check out this video. 